here to show you do-it-yourselfers how to check for leaks in your auto air conditioning system using nitrogen. Um, I am a do-it-yourselfer. This is the first time uh, I'm working with an air conditioner. Um, let you know the three T's of do-it-yourselfer and that's time, talent, and tools. If you have all three of them then you can be a do-it-yourselfer. Before I didn't have the ta talent, meaning I didn't know about air conditioners, but I went on the internet and found out all I could about each component, how it works, the pressures, gases, and all that other stuff. So now I'm here to do an actual uh, show you using nitrogen how to test for leaks in your auto air conditioning system. Uh, this is my car here. It's a 2002 Chevy Venture with 85,000 miles on it. Um, and the tools that you're going to need is this uh, an AC manifold. If you have any welding, these are gauges to an oxyacetylene uh, setup uh, with the hose. We're going to modify this a little bit. And of course, you need a bottle of uh, nitrogen. Um, with my uh, welding setup, this is set up for oxygen. I went down to the welding store and, and swapped my oxygen bottle for a nitrogen bottle. Then when I'm done with this, I'm going to return my uh, the nitrogen bottle and get my oxygen bottle out. Okay, so let me show you what to do to set all this up. Okay, first off, we have uh, the nitro uh, nitrogen bottle with the gauges here. We will not be using the acetylene side at all. We're only going to be using the oxygen side. Now when you get this oxygen, uh, nitrogen bottle, your oxygen gauge will not fit in it. You have to buy an additional uh, nipple and nut that fits nitrogen bottles. These are separate gases. Um, and they do this, they don't want you to mix the gases. However, mixing nitrogen with oxygen is not a big deal because the air we breathe is 80% nitrogen, 20% oxygen. So there's no danger in mixing these two gases using this gauge for this bottle. So you want to replace this uh, nut and nipple with one that fits on a nitrogen bottle. Okay, now I've replaced the nitrogen fitting for this bottle into my oxygen gauge. Um, one thing you never want to do is put a a nitrogen, put nitrogen into your car without a regulator. You'll, you'll blow out probably every, every AC component in your system. So you always want to have a regulator. Okay. Now the next part is this AC manifold. I've already hooked it into the system and I'll have a close-up picture for you of where you hook all these gauges up to uh, to check the pressure. Um, let me do that right now. Okay, so right now we're ready to put nitrogen into the air conditioning system. We have our nitrogen bottle hooked up to a oxygen regulator uh, with a, a fitting for the nitrogen. Going through this green line, hooking in with the blue line, the low pressure side, up to the manifold, across here to the high pressure side, high pressure side. The service port is closed off. Also, you can see right here I've got zero PSI. If you have any pressure in your system, don't do this. That means you probably have a slow leak or, or you're just low on Freon. But only do this if your PSI is at zero. So now I'm going to start off with 100 PSI. Um, my valves are turned off here. Okay. I'm going to open this valve which shows 100 PSI. This one is still at zero. Now I'm going to open up this valve and put the nitrogen into the air conditioning system. If it is a large leak, I'll be able to hear something. If it's a small leak, I've got a soap solution that I can spray on the fittings, uh, the components, and look for bubbles there. So here we go. See if you can hear anything. I do hear a hissing noise. Let me see if I can zoom in on the noise. Okay, here's my gauges. I'm going to shut off the nitrogen here. That's showing 100 pounds, 110 pounds right now. 
So let's look around for the leak. I hear a hissing noise. It's over here on this side of the condenser. Definitely leaking up the condenser. I'll squirt some solution on there. I can see some bubbling. But anywhere, that's my leak using nitrogen. And over here, you see this gauge has gone down to 50, 60, and it's going down and down and down. So there you have it, how to find air conditioning leaks using nitrogen. You don't want to use compressed air. Compressed air has moisture in it, and introducing moisture into an air conditioning system is, is bad for a couple of reasons. Um, I'll let you look them up to find out why moisture is bad in an air conditioning system. But anyway, there you have it. Um, um, I'm going to be pulling out the condenser. I got a new condenser right now, and I'll give you a close up of where the leak is. Hello, welcome back. It's about an hour later. I've just replaced the condenser here with the new one. Um, if you want to know how easy it is on the fan to uh, replace the condenser, number one is remove the fans. There's two bolts hold them in, it comes up and out. Take off the radiator hoses, uh, the coolant hoses on the radiator, both of them, rotate at 90 degrees. These are still hooked together by the oil cooler ho hoses, don't want to mess with them. Then the new condenser slides right in and out. Now that I got the new one in, I want to put the nitrogen in again to see if my connections are tight or if I have any other leaks. Also, I did some research on the internet. It says the most common problem for this uh, model of radiator is for it to fail right here at the bracket. Um, however, mine failed right up here at this upper bracket. There's uh, some green stuff there. They probably put some dye in. Right here is where mine failed. So I'm now ready to uh, put nitrogen in the system. My gauge is at zero. This time I'm going to go up to 150 pounds, and, I ne and you never want to exceed 200 pounds when uh, working with the nitrogen in your AC system. So I'll put that up to 150. My gauge is here. It's flowing in, you can hear the hissing. This thing stops. I've got 150 pounds right here. I'm going to turn the gas off. I'm going to turn the gauges off. Now I'm going to wait a while to see if this pressure drops any. If the pressure drops any, that means I've got a small leak somewhere. But for right now, I'm going to spray my connections with uh, the soapy solution to see if I can find any bubbling anywhere. Um, the other things I want to check for leaks are at the Schrader valves and also at the compressor. Those are the, where you'll find your most common leaks uh, from your AC system. Thanks for watching.